As a wide area network evolves, its management doesn't have to become more complex. Cradlepoint's NetCloud Manager is an intuitive cloud management application designed to deploy, manage, and troubleshoot Cradlepoint edge routers and adapters, cellular and Wi-Fi enabled access points, and Cradlepoint virtualized gateways. This presentation will be a high-level overview of NetCloud Manager and the powerful capabilities it enables for network management. We start by logging into our Cradlepoint account. The primary navigation tabs are on the left side of the screen. Our account level dashboard is at the top, providing an aggregated view of data for an account's entire network. Let's start at the Home tab, which displays online and offline endpoints, and the account's data usage. It breaks down which modems are connected to which carriers, what service they are connected to, and what products are online across the network. Scrolling down, the aggregated WAN usage by day shows how much data was used across the account per day and by which WAN source. Remember, WAN sources can include traditional wired Ethernet, an LTE or 5G modem, or Wi-Fi as WAN. Next, the GeoView tab allows administrators to see the locations of their devices within a map based on their GPS locations. For endpoints that are not GPS enabled, the connected cell tower can be used to approximate the location of the endpoints or the location can be set manually by the administrator. Clicking on an endpoint displays cellular health statistics for its LTE or 5G modem. Location tracking provides a historical view of an endpoint's location over a period. The coverage tab displays a track of where vehicle routers have traveled and is color coded to indicate the cellular signal strength and quality along that track. This cellular intelligence is important in mapping out in an organization's scope of operations and where the cellular signal is excellent, good, fair, or poor. The data usage tab shows data usage statistics by WAN type, modem, and even individual clients and applications. Administrators can access more details from each summary tile, clicking into the details, including client usage info such as MAC and IP address, connection type, wired or wireless, and total data usage, upload and download. Similar details can be viewed for applications being used in the network. Data usage for categories of applications, social media, for example, as well as individual applications, Facebook, for example, can be viewed providing valuable data on what is driving data usage. Policies can be created to deny traffic types that do not conform to an organization's policies in NetCloud Manager. The data usage dashboard report can be downloaded via the PDF icon on the summary page and highlights usage by WAN, modem, clients, and applications. The Cellular Data tab provides detailed data usage statistics based on individual carrier data plans. Selecting the Data by Cellular Provider tab and filtering to a specific carrier shows the account usage by day and month, along with the average data usage. Scrolling down will show an analysis of data by carrier in the current billing period, displaying the predicted likelihood of exceeding the data usage allotment. Administrators can update the billing start date and set monthly limits for data plans. Alerts can be set to notify administrators when selected data usage limits have been met. The Health tab shows clickable summary tiles reflecting items such as WAN uptime, cellular health by carrier, logged failover events, quality of experience across the account, and a summary of configured traffic steering rules and events. The NCOS lifecycle tile shows future router OS upgrade requirements to remain within NetCloud's rolling 24-month window of support. Next on the dashboard is security. Here you'll find Cradlepoint secure threat management intrusion incidents, default password change reminders, and details about outbound web traffic requests through the routers as configured by the Cradlepoint secure web filter policy. Click on the tiles for more details. The next menu item on the left side of the screen is Devices. This is where the configuration of individual endpoints can be performed. Clicking Configuration, Summary, gives a summary of the endpoint's complete configuration. 
Colors indicate whether a configuration element was set at the individual or group endpoint level. Configuration Edit opens a highly secure yet efficient TLS encrypted tunnel between NetCloud and the endpoints and presents a user interface for administrative functions such as the configuration modifications which will sync with the endpoint once complete. The Remote Connect button allows remote access to the router and devices connected behind it. Whether they are third-party routers, switches, or even devices on the LAN such as IP cameras, all through the simple NetCloud interface. This is an effective feature for network administrators to use for remote troubleshooting. By clicking the Network Interfaces tab, admins can see which interfaces are currently active on which endpoints, along with data about their strength and health. Filter on modems to see interface analytics or to manage modem firmware. The Groups menu item is where the magic happens. This is where the admin can create a group configuration to broadly apply across many endpoints instead of configuring one at a time. This way, whenever one or more routers are administratively moved into a group, they inherit all the configuration settings for that group. This group construct provides an easy way to scale the cradle point network from 1 to 10 to 100 to thousands. As a best practice, an admin would configure a group of routers with all settings in common, making that group the golden configuration, then move appropriate routers into the group. Ongoing updates and patches can be scheduled and performed to a group, dramatically simplifying this process. The scheduler is in the main navigation. The Networks menu provides visualization and policy orchestration for CradlePoint's unified WAN, networking, and security architecture, NetCloud Exchange. Secure Connect allows administrators to easily orchestrate zero-trust-based network services between routers and a service gateway. Secure Connect is both a connectivity service as well as the foundation for other services. Policies are created in the Service Policy tab and implemented in the network through the NetCloud Exchange Service Gateway. Under Traffic Steering, applications can be classified and directed to certain WAN links based on performance requirements by category. Traffic that requires direct access to the internet can also be set up through these policies. Set policies for both Secure Connect and ZTNA services under Access. Secure Connect enables site-based policies to be created while ZTNA enables more granular user-based access policies to be defined. The Network section of NetCloud Manager is also where you manage, automate, and troubleshoot a private cellular network and its components. By adding a network here, you are adding a NetCloud Private Networks Mobility Gateway. This is the Converge 4G 5G cellular core that authenticates the clients and directs the private network traffic. Next, add cellular access points. These form radio groups that will broadcast the network in the allocated spectrum. If using CBRS, you can also manage the spectrum access system from NetCloud Manager. In the third tab, you assign and manage CradlePoint private SIMs to ensure only authorized endpoints are allowed to attach to the network. NetCloud Private Networks provides an end-to-end -end private cellular network solution within NetCloud Manager and alongside other Edge and WAN solutions. Finally, the Monitor tab allows administrators to view both NetCloud Private Networks as well as the status of Secure Connect tunnels and to monitor individual traffic flows from source to destination across networks. The Alerts and Logs menu allows admins to set up email alerts informing them of significant events in their CradlePoint network. These alerts can be applied at a group or account level and notify admins of events such as subscription expiry or unauthorized changes in one or more devices configuration. The Insights menu item provides shareable reports for activity related to the account, network, security, and health. The failover report provides an estimated cost savings generated by having a failover solution in place. The NetCloud summary report shares high-level insights of device status, cellular health and performance, and data usage. These reports and others leverage the cellular intelligence built into CradlePoint endpoints. The Tools menu is where admins can enable and track NetCloud's extensibility solutions. 
The SDK tab is where users add applications built with the Software Developers Kit feature. The NetCloud API tab is where users generate NetCloud API keys. The NetCloud application programming interface is a means of programmatically interfacing with third-party systems or applications to share data easily and securely. You'll find links to documentation on how to use the API here. The third tab is for the container and group container orchestration. On this page, users can enable Docker containers or SDK applications to run on select CradlePoint routers, enabling edge compute functionality. The integrations menu is the ultimate easy button. This is where admins can set up bi-directional data interactions between CradlePoint endpoints and certain third-party commercial environments, all without a lot of technical expertise. If an organization is already using these third-party solutions, the pre-built integrations provide point-and-click configuration. The Marketplace menu item is used to find information about your organization's CradlePoint authorized partner and how to update advanced licenses and other available subscriptions. The Resources menu provides quick links, CradlePoint training, tools, and support. If you need additional help regarding NetCloud, click on the question mark icon at the top right corner. Another helpful tool is the Resource Center. Click the Book icon at the bottom left corner of the screen for access to product announcements and user guides. You can also use the Resource Center to share feedback about NetCloud with the CradlePoint development team. In summary, NetCloud Manager offers unparalleled centralized management of CradlePoint endpoints and services from the LAN to the WAN based on an architecture designed for zero trust security, backed by world-class support and R&D teams that deliver ongoing new features and enhancements, there really is nothing quite like it in the industry. Simple, robust, and efficient. NetCloud.